Welcome everyone to my video on Bezier curves. In this video we're going to talk a little bit how to uh, draw some real basic Bezier curves and um, to start out with we're actually going to compare the way the Floriani software draws the curves and how you manipulate the curves in that versus uh, CorelDRAW because there is some difference and CorelDRAW is pretty popular and a lot of people including myself that have switched from one to the other will see that there is some differences. So we're going to get right into it here. We're going to draw a um, real simple line here and then we'll do the same thing in Corel and we'll just kind of show the difference here. I'm just going to plot three points and um, in that obviously these were just straight lines. And we'll go into the edit mode and we'll see that you know we just have the three points there and to make this into a curve in the Floriani software we would just right click on this middle one here and we would say smooth and we would uh, end up with a nice curve that goes through those sa same three points so that's a real easy way to kind of see the way the Floriani software handle it now we're going to switch over to CorelDRAW and we're going to do the same thing and I'm going to pick the uh, Bezier tool and I'll draw a very similar shape not necessarily exact um, but we got a very similar shape here. Now the difference is with CorelDRAW, I'll get the shape tool here. In CorelDRAW, the nodes themselves that define the shape, they do not really contain the information of whether the line is a curve or not. The line itself actually contains the information, not the node. Um, and to demonstrate that, is in CorelDRAW I can click on this line and I can convert the line to a curve and the same goes here. I can make both of those curves now it has not changed the shape of this at all they're still they're now defined as curves but they are actually a curve in a straight line. So to get our shape to look something like it does in Floriani then we would need to take this node and add the um, smoothing effect to that node and we would get a shape that is similar but still not exact the way it is in Floriani. Um, there probably isn't a way to get it exact nor do we really need to worry about that um, but the, as you can see there there is a difference there. Um, in CorelDRAW I can grab a hold of this line not these handles but the line itself and I can change my shape and, I, and depending on where I grab the line it will affect how the shape changes. If, if I grab it in the middle I get a different effect than if I grab it really close to an edge you can see that it changes differently and um, so if we go back over to the Floriani um, we cannot grab the line and do anything. The line will not move. The only way to affect the shape is to grab our handles that are off of this node here in the center and we can change it. So that's one of the most basic differences is is the way that it's handled. Now the CorelDRAW has these handles and you can use the handles exactly the way you do in Floriani. You can move those handles and that moves the line but I find myself in most cases actually moving the line and, and getting the line to line up the way I want it. Um, I can move nodes and I can move lines. In the back over here to Floriani again can't move the line, you can move this node anywhere you want and you can move these lines anywhere you want but you cannot manipulate the line directly by clicking on the line so that's one of the uh, biggest differences and it's not a huge difference and I'm not saying one way is right or wrong I'm just saying that th th that's kind of the difference here so that being said um, I think what we need to do next is we need to examine exactly what the um, the different options for this node is because we obviously have a curve here and um, when we right click on this node we can see that there's different options. There's We can convert that to a line, we can make it cusp, smooth, and symmetrical. Now right now it's smooth and the easiest way to define or to tell you the way that smooth is defined is obviously it makes it a smooth line through here and what that really means and I'll zoom in on this is that where the line comes into this node and leaves the node it will happen at 
basically a 180 degree angle there. In other words, it's going to pass through straight through there. No matter where I move this, as you can see, this line passes straight through. So that makes our line that we're drawing, it makes it smooth. We can move these handles independently as far as the acceleration goes we can bring this line out further it does not affect this handle but since it's smooth when we move this side this size has to move to keep this joining at 180 degrees or a straight line straight through so that's what smooth means it, it keeps it um, it keeps that angle at 180 degrees and you will always have a smooth intersection as it goes through there now if we change this to cusp which we need to do a lot of times that stops this motion of this 180 degrees through there that way we can move this handle and this handle does not move now if we look at this we can obviously see that this is no longer joining this line doesn't go through this node at 180 degrees um, and as we move that handle we're changing the angle that that goes through that node and that is when we say a a um, handle has a cusp property that's what it does we can change the acceleration how far we go from the handle and we can change the angle that the two lines meet and it does not affect the other side and the same goes this way this side does not affect that side as long as it's cusp as soon as we would return that to smooth that line becomes 180 degrees right there and we now have this nice smooth angle through there we need both settings depending on the shape we're trying to get but by remembering that it, it makes it a little bit less confusing um, on when somebody says a certain whether it's smooth or cusp um, you'll, you'll get an idea what they're talking about the last setting in there is symmetrical and the easiest way to remember symmetrical is symmetrical is smooth the lines will always meet at 180 degrees we and when we do this they will remain smooth these this will cross at 180 degrees there but the difference is is when we move our acceleration how far our points are from that node it moves the acceleration on the other side so it becomes symmetrical as I move this in the other side moves in symmet in um, to keep the symmetrical part together that's that's just moves together so really it is smooth but it keeps the acceleration part of it symmetrical with the other side I guess that's the best way to put it so if we was to switch this back to smooth we're really not going to see a change but then we can move this handle independently and actually this curve here could be a little different than this one um, when it's symmetrical if they started out the same they will they will pretty much always stay the same so that's the the basic differences there uh, between your that way you know what cusp is it lets you move one side independently of the other on, on, on one side or handle the other smooth makes that line meet at that 180 degree angle which will always make a nice smooth curve if that's what you're looking for and the symmetrical is the same as smooth but the acceleration of how far out your handles come from that node to form that curve stay symmetrical on each side so I'm not really going to show you an example of where you would use each one and sometimes we really don't know exactly which one we need um, because the key is when we're trying to match a shape we need to get the line to match the shape and we don't always know exactly what setting we need but as you play with it more and more at least you'll have a good idea of what the possibilities are whether you want a cusp or smooth or symmetrical whichever really helps you get that shape you're looking for so Hopefully that uh, explains the difference between the two and as you can see it's very similar to Corel Draw, but it's not the same. The main difference being in Corel Draw we can manipulate that line directly, not in Floriani we have to manipulate the handles and the line uh, will follow the shape of the handles. So hopefully that um, gives you everybody a little bit of idea how to do some basic Bezier editing of those curves. and. Um, I think that see the similarities between other programs we've used we'll see that um, maybe we can get a, a little better results when we start using them so hopefully everybody got something out of that video and we'll see you in the next video